Here's a fun one for you. This guy was out elk hunting and the CV boot came undone. So, in fact, the whole axle pulled apart and came out. So he went ahead and pulled the axle out so it wasn't flopping around because this was on one side and this was just banging around. So he took it out and you want to see what that does? Let me uh, give you a little foreshadowing and say uh, this is the spindle that holds the wheel hub bearing assembly together. So with that knot there to hold it together, guess what happens? For one, the ABS light comes on watch all these other ones go out one by one except for the and the other thing the brake light comes on you wouldn't know that because the picture of a wife and kids is blocking it um, but basically that happens you get a clunking knocking noise from here and the brakes don't work as well and then aside from that you see the grease splatter everywhere from the axle coming undone but you can see the hub bearing assemblies coming apart also and that's what happens is, is the hub bearing comes apart and you start to get floppy uh, sloppiness in the wheel and that causes the brake rotor um, to push side to side on the caliper and make your brakes uh, basically it spreads like when you do a brake job and the ABS is all included inside of that so when you take your axle out you know in a situation like this it can cause a lot of problems it's dangerous your whole hub can come apart, your wheel can fall off. You want to see what the play looks like? This is what the play looks like, and that's why your brakes go away, because it spreads out your caliper and your pads aren't close to make contact. So, it's really dangerous. He towed it in, he put it on the tow truck. A lot of times people will just try to drive them in, and then you have to figure out a way to get even get it on and off the tow truck. So as we look at this, we can see the rotor's cracked, and he knew that from before. He's got these spacers, which are dangerous of themselves. But uh, the only thing holding this thing together was the brake rotor. If he didn't keep on the brakes when I was back pulling it in, it would have just come off completely. And as we look at the ABS sensor, um, look into the inside, you can see that it's just been for shit sold. It's just been ground down to nothing. And then... Uh, when we look in here, we can see a piece of the inner race coming undone. Uh, it's just down to tin foil. There's nothing left on it. It's toast. So we're going to have to replace the wheel hub bearing, uh, the brake rotor, the sensor, and the CV axle, naturally. Here's what's left of the old hub. Of course, there's the part that you can see the other side of. And uh, when I went to take off the rotor, once the rotor was off, I pulled this off and it pulled straight out without any resistance at all. There's not a, there's one bearing left in it. That one that you see there. So it was toast. Of course the ABS light was on because the sensor had just been obliterated and there was no more tone ring for it to even get signal from. So a lot better than it was, huh? Got the new CV axle, we got a new uh, hub bearing assembly, new ABS, new rotor, and uh, ready to get out and do a little elk hunting now. Let's see how we did, shall we? That's an ABS light in case you can't tell. It's on, and it's off. Awesome. And now when I push the brakes, they respond. I don't have to pump them from the rotor pushing the pads apart, creating hydraulic delay. Hooray! <laughs> We're fixed. One of the things that contributed to his axle failing prematurely, the shaft that goes on, the male part, it comes out of front axle and meet with the CV axle. It's a really harsh angle on account of um, he's got the torsion bars turned all the way up, as high as they can possibly be. I mean, it's got a four inch lift besides everything, but then they got that extra just a little bit by turning the torsion bars, and like I say, that creates an angle and not conducive to longevity. Let's take a look at this thing, shall we? Not bad. Cute little looks dog. like the front of it's kind of sticking up a little too high. Maybe I ought to consider turning that back down a couple of notches. 